Hey everyone and welcome back. So uh, it's nice to actually be back to making videos again. I know I still have actually one more to do, uh, which is my Severin uh, video, which I still need to upload. So that actually is uh, should be coming uh, very shortly. And just as a heads up, you may notice that it's a little bit different back there. That's actually temporary, uh, but some of this stuff actually is getting boxed up. This again, as I mentioned in my last video, a lot of this stuff is gonna be moved and rearranged and there will be some new stuff back there soon. So actually I think the Severin video that I'm gonna post might actually should be technically the last one that had the jaws back there. And thanks again for all the nice comments uh, regarding, you know, the uh, storm and everything that hit uh, this past week. Power did go out for a bit. Uh, there is some minor damage, but luckily nothing serious. But thank you again for all the comments. I know a lot of them I still need to respond to, so please be patient with me. But I do have a couple quick news announcements to get to. A lot of exciting stuff coming out. So first up, uh, probably one of the bigger ones is the fact that Warner Brothers has announced it is releasing 4K versions of The Road Warrior and Mad Max Beyond Thunder. Each film does have a 4K restoration as well as a new Dolby Atmos track. Looks like the Road Warrior is porting over the extras that were on the Blu-ray, but unfortunately uh, Beyond Thunderdome does not have any extras. And there's also going to be a 4K anthology set that'll have all four films, Mad Max, Road Warrior, Beyond Thunderdome, and of course Fury Road. Now Mad Max and Fury Road I believe are the discs that are already out there, but if you haven't gotten any of them yet, uh, it's definitely a good way to get all four. And these are due out November 2nd, so not too far out. Next one is just one I want to throw out real quick. Just because I'm a big Martin Scorsese fan, uh, and that is indeed another one of his films fi finally coming to 4K, and that is uh, The Wolf of Wall Street. And that is getting a new transfer supervised by Martin Scorsese, and it looks like it's transferring over all of the extras from the uh, pre-existing Blu-ray, and that is due out December 14th. Now, I can't remember if I covered this in a previous video or not, so uh, bear with me if I did, but I'm pretty sure I at least did not get to the details of it. So coming October 26th is the next one in the Vestron line, and that is the movie Steel Dawn, starring Patrick Swayze. And he's gonna have a couple of extras, including an audio commentary track with the director Lance Hool, interview with screenwriter Doug Leifler, Leffler, Leifler, I'm um, having one of those days again, aren't I? Interview with director of photography George Turrell, interview with production designer Alex Tavarlaris, and costume designer Poppy Cannon Reese, an archival featurette on the making of the film, a still gallery, and the original trailer. Boy, was the Vestron line just dormant for the longest time, and now, you know, we're now actually starting to get titles regularly, which is really, really exciting because there's so many that they could do. And again, that is due out October 26th. And Kino has detailed their upcoming release of the 1978 version of Invasion of the Body Snatchers in 4K. And they are giving it a brand new HDR transfer from uh, the 4K scan that if I'm not mistaken was the one that was actually done for the Screen Factory release. But they're going back and actually taking that uh, scan anyway and doing a whole HDR uh, Dolby Vision Pass. Is so it going to have a 5.1 surround mix as well as a 2.0 stereo mix which I believe is the original theatrical mix and the 4k disc will have two commentary tracks they are the previous commentary tracks one of them with the director Philip Kaufman and the other one with film historian Steve Haberman and the included blu-ray literally looks like it is porting over everything that was on the Scream Factory release. Now it is gonna have the new transfer on it, but it looks like everything else, like all the interviews and everything, it actually is gonna be pretty much everything that was on the Scream Factory release, which is good, because honestly, I didn't think any of those things were gonna be ported over. So that's actually good news. Definitely one I'm very excited about, and again, that is coming November 23rd. So coming October 26th from the American Genre Film Archive, the uh, AGFA, is the film Boarding House from 1982, and that is uh, actually getting a brand new transfer from a 35 millimeter print because I think it might be one of the few existing elements for it. So, you know, it's kind of one of those where it's like, oh, you gotta preserve it now or, you know, who knows. So this is gonna have the original theatrical cut, again, taken from that release print. And it's also gonna have the original home video cut which is transferred from uh, the three quarter inch master tape. So quality on that would probably be a little iffy, but if that's the only thing that exists. They have two commentary tracks, both on the theatrical cut, the original trailer, as well as uh, some home video trailers and TV spots. And it's gonna have Psycho Killer from 1984, a previously unreleased alternate cut of Boarding House transferred from the one inch master. Sally and Jess from 1989, previously unreleased family film from the makers of Boarding House preserved in 2K 
away from the 16 millimeter answer print, as well as a commentary on Sally and Jess, as well as on set footage, as we have music videos as well. Quite an interesting release, so uh, looking forward to checking this out. Again, that is due out October 26th. And then just finally something really cool that is coming out from NECA, uh, which is due out sometime in October. Uh, not exactly sure, but it's just sort of right now scheduled for, uh, well, next month. And that is an alternate version to their McCready uh, Carussell character uh, from The Thing. And so you know they already released a version of it uh, not too long ago. This is an alternate version, which they're calling the Station Survival version. As you can see here, it comes with a, a couple of very cool things, including uh, the flamethrower with uh, some, uh, you know, flame attachment. And one of the coolest things that, I, and one of the cool things that I think it's coming with is, of course, the uh, blood testing. Thing. So you can have him uh, holding just a dish with the uh, wire that he's going to test it with or one that actually has it sort of spurting up. Definitely very, very cool because when I got the last figure, I must admit, I was kind of like, I kind of wish he actually came with a flamethrower. <laughs> so actually, all right, so we are actually going to get one that does come with it. So just want to give you guys a heads up on some of these real quick. Definitely let me know your thoughts. I have a lot more videos to get to, uh, including the Severn one, which is overdue now. It should be up uh, very shortly. And as always, thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.